I could play more clips, but I got like three clips I want you to listen to. And these are with the Fox uh, hosts, a couple of the Fox hosts, including Laura Ingram, uh, Jason Chavis, who used to be a representative from Utah, who used to be a Democrat, who's nothing but a Mitt Romney type of Republican. And he wants you to know that he voted for Trump twice, but he's still a Democrat. I'm going to let you listen to some of the things they said. But this, you know what this tells me? Oh, yeah, that little Brian fellow who has to sit down in TT. Is he married? Because I'm, I'm a little suspicious of him. But when you listen to these people, what you can tell from this is that uh, Paul Ryan and the folks, the board over there at Fox News have told them that you are not to have a favorite a favorite outlook at Donald Trump. Now, some people are going to argue that, hey, Sean Hannity just did an interview with him. Yeah, but it was about five or six months since they really had him on there. Or did they even talk to him? Because they've been told. They didn't even cover the uh, first rally. When did Fox News stop covering the leader? He's leading in the polls, and they didn't cover it. They mentioned it in passing. But this tells me that the folks at the Fox board has told them you are not to support Donald Trump. This is why I told y'all, ain't no need, once you show me you're my enemy, it ain't no coming back. You stab me in my back. We can't be ever be friends again. I don't forgive when you stab me in my back. If we have a misunderstanding, we call each other name. We can get over that. But once you start stabbing me in my back, we can't come back from that. There ain't no coming because I can never trust you. But the first one I'm going to let you listen to is Jason because this Jason fellow was talking about the interview that Sean Hannity did. He said this was the worst interview ever. He said Donald Trump was whiny. Donald Trump was whiny. Take a listen. Said overall, you thought President Trump did a very poor job in the interview. Why? Um, I thought Sean Hannity did a good job, um, but I watched that and I thought, where is Donald Trump? I, I, I voted for Donald Trump twice. I have defended him countless times. I thought he was horrific. I think that was the worst interview I've seen the president do. He was whining. He was complaining. Um, he played the victim card time and time again. Um, and then after that, he complained that, you know, somebody had endorsed was now running against him. And I... I, I thought he was absolutely horrific. He's the former president of the United States. Act like it. He didn't in that interview. I tell y'all, you guys forgive too damn easy. Fox News is already stabbing in your back. They didn't even cover January 6th properly until now. They didn't cover the 2020 election right until now. But this proves that now, the first time in the history, they're trying to indict a former president over this. Former presidents have done a whole bunch of stuff, never over this. So you're seeing that he, he, you call it whining when he's playing offense. Okay, I got a question for you. That little Benghazi issue, uh, you, were in, you were in office then. Did anybody get arrested? Did you prosecute anybody? All this Jason fella does is do just like the rest of the Republicans do. They get on Fox News, they go on these other talk shows, and they grandstand but nobody ever gets indicted for the Democrats, even though we got all the information on them. Joe Biden, Barack Obama, we got all the information. Hillary Clinton, they didn't indict anybody. Donald Trump has three pending cases on him right now, trumped up charges to stop him from running for president. And these, this clown says that he's whining because he's addressing it. You guys won't address it. You haven't been addressing it. So you don't want him to address the main. He called it whining. Because they've been attacking this man for eight damn years. I wish they attack. If, I wish they attack Jason for eight years. They attack this clown for eight days like they're doing Donald Trump. He'll be begging for mercy. He'll be over there in the in the, in the woman's feminine section if they attacked him like this. But the next one I got is that this Brian fella. This is the fella that his wife makes him sit down to urinate. He was upset because of the rally in Waco. He says that Donald Trump. He had an opportunity. He opened up with January the 6th. He said, you need to stay away from that. We've proved that they lied about January the 6th. Why in the hell should he stay away from it? Tell the damn corrupt people, the Liz Cheney and those clowns who was running with a narrative that they lied about. Why were they covering up and hiding information? You're telling the fella who they've been trying to pin stuff on 
to ignore it. Don't defend yourself. I got no respect for Fox News. So that's why when they ever they do something right, I report that and I go right back to attacking them. Sean Hannity, uh, Laurie Ingram, nobody at the Fox News could ever get my respect. I don't even watch Fox News ever in now. I haven't watched Fox News in two years. If I see some news article come across, I'll address it then. But I don't watch that trash no more because they're cowards. These are grown men who must sit down to urinate. I, th I think uh, Tiger Woods made that joke about a tampon. I think all the men over there may need one. But take a listen to this Brian fella. He's upset because Donald Trump laid off his rally by talking about January 6th. This clown thinks he can stop him from talking about it. I don't care about you little metrosexual men get mad at me. Believe me, trust me, I don't care. Because no little metrosexual man who's scared to attack somebody who's attacking them, I ain't listening to nothing you say anyway. You're too weak. You're too weak to you for anybody listening to you. Nobody, no real man would ever follow any of these little bitty boys in the first place. This is such an opportunity for Republicans just to say, look at what we did. Look at what he's doing. Look at what we had. Look at what he's doing. And I think for President Trump to spend 80 percent of his time complaining about court cases instead of just looking at his own record and what he would have done. Let me tell you what I would have done to SVG. Let me tell you what I would have done over in um, to Syria if they if we our guys got hit uh, for the 74th time uh, and twice in two days. He does that or other candidates do that, they're going to be unbelievably successful because that's going to be the conversation at the kitchen table. Instead, the President of the United States, uh, the former President of the United States, opened up with January 6th video, which is insane. He should be running from that period. I don't care his point of view. That is not a good thing for him. I thought that was absolutely awful. Didn't I not tell you these people are crazy? But last but not least, we got the, the bull dyke, Laura Ingram. That's why I like to call her the bull dyke. Now, she was against same-sex marriage until her brother came out as gay. He started taking the pipe, and all of a sudden, uh, Laura Ingram, uh, she says she, she's not against it because it's just loving adults or whatever. Well, show that to me in Scripture then, Laura. But what got me is that she kept inter interrupting this Jason fella. Um, what's his name, Jason Miller? I think that's his name. can't remember. Um, but she started saying that, why ain't Donald Trump talking about all the things he planned on doing? See, this is their talking point at Fox now. When they had a board meeting, they didn't told them, put them on a leash. I told you they was on leashes. But this is the thing that gets me. Donald Trump is being attacked, and they want him not to address the attacks. They want him just to talk about policy. First of all, why would he give up all his policy to you clowns anyway? Why would he give talking points to the rest of the Republicans who's running? Wait till we get in the heat of, the heat of it. He don't have to tell you all his plans right now. We already saw what he can do. We ain't seen what these other ones can do yet. But this is the point I I I, I just, just irritates me to no extent. Laura Ingram is upset, just like the Jason fella, just like the Brian fella. They're upset because this man is defending himself. What planet are we on? They're upset. Take a look at the bull dyke, Laura Ingram. Well, I right, we jump in here. Base. Go ahead. The, the Go president ahead. Yeah. 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 policy works. plan every, every week. Yeah. Uh, Laura, the president has put forward a new policy plan every week. He's released the Quantum Leap Plan to build freedom city cities and revolutionize the American way of life Why and American he talking transportation. About them? He's launched a plan to end child mutilation. It was two thirds of his speech in Waco. It was three quarters of his speech at CPAC. He did right, a full hour on policy in both of those addresses. He's even a four-year tonight, yeah. plan to phase out imports on China. He detailed the plan to take out the deep state. He's detailed the plan to end the war in Ukraine. He's detailed the plan to completely so he, so, reshape so nothing, our nothing approach. So nothing, nothing can be tweaked. No, Stephen, nothing. Stephen, nothing can be tweaked. Nothing. Perfect. I have not in my lifetime seen a candidate who's put out more new policy in so short a period of time. Then talk about it. Talk about it every time you get every single week. Okay, so Stephen, I was if at you, the CPAC if, speech. It was an hour straight. I'm in not the talking speech. about the CPAC speech. I'm talking about tonight. I'm talking it about was, tonight. It was, it this is a huge opportunity to talk to Sean the American asked people. asked him about the biggest news story in the country, which is which is people trying to prosecute him because he is the leading candidate. There's no cheery way to be prosecuted by Alvin Bragg. There's no cheery way to have the special counsel come after you. Didn't he say isn't there was a the cheery way. And he should be. But he says we'll over and over again, they're coming yeah. after him because they're trying to come after us. Right. And that Steven, is what he should be to... saying. And he should be indignant. Okay. 
So, Stephen, this is, by the way, Stephen and I agree on 100% of all the policy issues. So this is what's fun about this. <laughs> but uh, but what, what I'm saying here is that, and I think what Miranda's trying to say. Tell me that the people at Fox News, the board over there, Murdoch and uh, uh, Paul Ryan, whoever's on the board over there, they told these clowns not to do it. The only reason Sean Henry had him on there because they was getting so much backlash. And so he got to pretend like he's fair and balanced. These are cowards. And the reason we can't get anywhere, see, the, the Republicans are always on defense. The Democrats are not. We got all this information on Joe Biden right now. Kickbacks and bribes from China. His whole family did it. And we're still trying to think that we, we need to be only playing defense. No, you got to play some offense. You got to score some points. That's how you win the game. You play to win the game. And this is the part, the problem I have. All Republicans ever do is get on TV, have these committees or whatever. They're trying to indict Donald Trump. They got these with fake evidence. We got real evidence on Joe Biden, Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, the lies that James Comey told, the January the 6th committee, not one single proper investigation. I don't want to have another meeting. We ain't got to have a conference. You ain't got to get on TV grandstand. I don't care about none of that. They have another meeting. That, that, uh, Ted Cruz and what's his name was questioning my arguments. Put him in jail. Get a real get a real prosecutor to prosecute him. He's but he dialect dialect of duty. He's allowing our country to be invaded, and then he gives you these crazy answers, Senator or uh, uh, Senator. Why don't Fox News and the rest of these phony rhino Republicans do their damn job? Why hasn't Joe Biden been indicted already? Why hasn't Hunter Biden been indicted already? Christopher Ray been holding that damn laptop since 2018, and here we talking about this Storm of Daniels trash. Now we know she's lied because now we she, she admitted that they never had her fat, and then she changed her story. These are just flat out liars, man. These people will make up a story, and they're upset because he's defending himself. Get over yourself and quit. All you men who don't who got the same energy, right there, sit down and teach you, boy. Quit acting like a badass on the internet.